Hi everyone, it is Tracy Chamberlain Higginbotham from Women Ties down here at the Women Ties Pool House, ready to record a Monday Motivation podcast. This one entitled, Podcasting Became the Thing I Learn During the Economic Pause During COVID-19. And I'm hoping that it's going to inspire you to consider becoming a podcaster as well to market your business. At this point, I'm usually tell you just a little bit about my company, but on August 8th, uh, which is coming up pretty shortly, I will be celebrating my 25th anniversary as a woman entrepreneur who has been supporting, promoting, and connecting other women entrepreneurs across central New York, New York State, and even across both this country and uh, internationally as well. And I have loved um, this career of mine. And because of it, I have been dedicated to the financial success of women entrepreneurs first and foremost with my Women Ties company mission to be that women are encouraged to brand themselves and market themselves over the Women Ties marketing platform in order to increase their brand recognition and to receive sales and revenue from other women entrepreneurs that decide to put their money in the hands of women entrepreneurs first and foremost until we women get a pay inequality law. And so that is a little bit about me. If you weren't familiar, I just thought again that I would share it with you um, in light of my 25th uh, anniversary coming up. So today's Monday Motivation Podcast um, truly is called, Is Podcasting Your New Tool in Business? And this is how it goes. What have you done new since the pandemic started? Asked someone on a Women Tie Zoom program for women entrepreneurs. There was a plethora of answers giving, given, ranging from finishing writing a book to taking personal online lessons in art to bring more creativity into a business and finding time to read an industry icon's best-selling book. All great answers, but my response was teaching myself to podcast. As a longtime writer of an inspirational and educational blog for women regarding business, sports, equality, and life issues, with a fairly limited readership of 3,000, I wondered if my wisdom could be shared with a wider audience via podcasting. I knew most podcasts involved more than one person speaking or being interviewed, but I wanted to start by recording my own written words and sharing it wider since my followers love my voice on feminist issues. Plus, I wasn't exactly knowledgeable yet on how to interview someone far away since COVID-19 prevented women to come in person to be interviewed down here at the Women's Eyes Pool House. In a much quieter business setting during this economic pause, I finally found time to research order equipment, play with, and eventually record my own podcast. Proud I tried to grow my, my listenership with people who knew my brand, liked my blog posts, follow me on multiple marketing platforms, and asking people to follow it. But much to my chagrin, my listenership remains minuscule. So what is an eager, success-focused businesswoman to do next? You might have guessed it. I've asked a popular podcaster to share her success strategies in a Zoom event to not only educate me, but my demographic of New York State women entrepreneurs. Honestly, it's hard to start something new. I remember when creating a weekly blog post of 300 words seemed almost impossible in 2007 when I began, but like all good things in life, it takes commitment, focus, education, and reputation to become a good business habit or service. Just because someone as popular as Michelle Obama can begin a new podcast and have immediate followers doesn't mean that the average woman can't do the same. So you'll be asking my podcast presenter, Nicole Christina, whose podcast Zestful Aging, whose podcast has been heard by people in 91 countries, how she did it. And guess where she's based? Right here in Syracuse, New York, alongside with me. I never believe goals are unreachable because there are because they are with extra effort and attention. We learn life and business skills mainly from others who have successfully gone where we haven't yet. So it's up to us to listen and learn from experts willing to share their knowledge. Life is really a series of teachable experiences. Sometimes we're the teachers and other times we're the student. 
Being a student has great advantages, so commit to becoming one today in any area of your life or business where you need help. And if you're looking for podcasting inspiration and support, please join me on July 28th at noon with our special guest, Nicole Christina, and learn what it takes to become the next best podcaster. You can sign up and register at www.womenties.com. That's W-O-M-E-N-T-I-E-S dot com. And it is only $20 for the hour and a half program. Plus you get to promote yourself as well. Because again, I believe strongly in the buying and selling power of women and giving women the opportunity to be able to market themselves as often as they can. Until we uh, speak again, um, please remember to support women in entrepreneurial spirit. This is Tracy Chamberlain Higginbotham, founder of Women Ties, founder of the Women's Athletic Network. Have a great day.